Did you ever wonder what the largest fish ever caught looked like? With all due respect to your fantasy, we wouldn't blame you for underestimating how impressive these beasts really were. 10. Alligator Gar It was a rocky start for Valverde on his Rio Grande River fishing. After a long hike to the river, he and his companions realized that they left their bait at home. Still, they scrounged up a few earthworms and used them to catch mullet, which they then cut for bait. The world record haul was one of several gars in the 75 to 100 pound range the trio caught that day. The gar wasn't hooked at all. Valverde told Boy's Life in 1972, I was able to bring him in because he was holding onto the bait with those big teeth. 9. Swordfish This gigantic 1182 pound swordfish was caught in July of 1953 in Aikiko, Chile by Luis Medellin. Swordfish are highly sought after type of fish. They are susceptible to light, so they swim well below the surface down to 2,000 feet during the day. This earns them the reputation of being one of the most mysterious and elusive species sought after by sport fishermen. It's also why they're pursued at night when they come much closer to the surface. Swordfish are known to put up a fight when being hooked. Usually, several hours are needed to reel the fish using Benito as bait. Madone managed to catch the swordfish in two hours. No one has come close to topping his record ever since. 8. Thresher Shark Catching a thresher of any size demands a great deal of skill because these beasts are known for bashing the hook and bait with their tail before moving in for the kill. David Hanna caught this thresher using kawaii salmon and this is why Hanna's record is even more impressive. 776 pounds. What a catch. 7. Bluefin Tuna This enormous bluefin tuna was cut by Ken Fraser in Nova Scotia, Canada in 1979. Even after nearly 10 hours of dehydrating in the boat, the fish still weighed an incredible 1496 pounds. The Atlantic bluefish tuna is one of the fastest fish in the world. Its torpedo-shaped body helps it achieve speeds of up to 43 miles per hour. It's always been a highly sought-after fish from ancient times to this day. Fraser caught the bluefish tuna using a mackerel bait. He hooked and landed the fish in only 45 minutes. Almost 40 years later, his record is still standing, and it's likely to stay that way since overtaking has driven tunas to the point of extinction. After the catch, Fraser became famous and even wrote a book about his experiences. 6. Largemouth Bass. Perry's world-famous cache will never be surprised. The most iconic freshwater world record is arguably the most pursued record on the planet. So, why include it in our video? It may be beaten, but I think that the bass that beats it will have been grown or genetically altered. Vitek says Perry was a native fish caught in its native territory. And there's something special about that. Fair enough. 5. Black Marlin this 1560-pound black marlin was caught off Cabo Blanco, Peru, in 1953 by Alfred Glassell Jr. It's officially recognized as the largest bony fish ever caught on rod and reel. The black marlin is considered one of the fastest, if not the quickest fish globally. They can reach speeds as much to 60 miles per hour. It's also one of the largest bony fish and is often called the bull of the sea. This black marlin was one of the four caught on the same day. The fish was caught with a five pound mackerel bait, which is a light snack for this giant fish, which is known to devour 200 pound tuna in one go. This fish was kept leaping out of the water 49 times in total, trying to get rid of the hook. Glassell grappled with the fish for an hour and 45 minutes before finally catching it. The record for this catch set is one of the most enduring world records in fishing. It has lasted for more than 60 years despite constant attempts by sport fishermen worldwide to outdo what Glassell had done in the 50s with far worse equipment and technology. 4. Great White Shark The white shark was caught on April 21, 1959 by Alfred Dean in the waters of Cydonia, a small Australian town. It is still the world record for the heaviest fish ever caught with a rod and reel. It weighed over a tonne. An astonishing 26.64 pounds. The crew at first 
grappled unsuccessfully with a few smaller sharks before the white shark appeared. They knew they had their work cut out for them, but Alfred was used to catching giant sharks by then and was always on the lookout for the next big challenge. After an hour of the shark throwing everything it could at the crew, it was caught and brought to deny obey there was weighed and established as the heaviest fish ever caught. 3. Goliath Grouper Back in the day, Fernandina Beach was famous for its Goliath Grouper fishery. Until 1990, anglers could harvest these monsters, but regulators decided to ban their harvest with their population dwindling. All in all, the record isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Angler Lynn Joyner caught the 680 pounds Goliath using only a Spanish mackerel. 2. Great White Shark This 17 foot long, 3,427 pound Great White Shark was caught by Frank Mundus and Donnie Braddock in 1986. The Great White Shark is known as one of the most dangerous sea creatures and one of the most often behind human attacks. The shark was between 30 and 35 years old and was so heavy that an inch thick broke when they were hoisting it, so a cargo hoist had to be used instead. It took Mundus and Braddock an hour and 40 minutes to put the first gap on it and then another hour to get a rope around its tail and start towing it to port. It holds the record to this day of not only the largest shark, but the largest fish ever caught by rod and reel. 1. Giant Tiger Shark What a catch that was! The photo that got so viral actually includes two big catches, and you probably won't be able to witness one of them. The fisherman, who reached a local paper, the Northern Star, and gave his name only as Matthew, said he caught the shark 22 kilometers off Tweed Heads. He said he was actually trying to catch a six-foot hammerhead shark initially when the tiger shark swallowed it whole. I was fighting the hammerhead, and this giant came up and swallowed it, he declared. You can't turn around and go like, no, don't touch, to something like that. He had lived in this area since he was four, he said, and seen much more giant sharks than this one, which he sold to the fish markets, keeping the jaws as a souvenir. I've dived with sharks bigger than that. It's only a little one, he said. I've seen tiger sharks 24 feet long off Tweed.